Dear 31, 10 or 4 a.m. All of the housemates are in the bedroom. Last night, Shri became the fifth person to be evicted from the Big Brother house. Just take a few moments. Mm -hmm. oh, God. <sighs> what, what, what do you think's the matter with him? I was crying, all right. Me too. Is it because he's seen the suitcase, do you think? <laughs> he waited, no, no, I'm not being funny, but he waited well, like, until all the cameras hurts. started buzzing and whirring, and then you I know like they're going to wake you up hurts. for him to start no, talking and crying and all that. But yeah. it made me angry, because it's just three Mark II, mm -hmm. like for, sympathy and all of that bollocks. Big Brother can see and understands that you're very upset. What's brought this on? <sighs> I feel like I'm, I'm trapped. I'm trapped in this horrible loop. Where... <sighs> My honesty and openness is getting me nominated and my honesty and openness is keeping me in the house. Is it something specific that's happened to make you feel this way this morning? Being in the street at my observations at Chris and Sophie last night has in particular brought this on. They asked me, and like, honestly, I think I probably started it accidentally uh, when Chris and Sophie say, oh, we've been good. And I said, oh, good as in well behaved or is it good as in good for ratings? And I meant that, like, from the bottom of my heart, I meant that in terms of, like, or have you been, like, doing sexy things, which will be good for the ratings? Uh, but he interpreted it as, like, He's like, oh, yeah, give the... He kind of really blatantly showed that he'd, like, been thinking about it in, like, those kind of terms. Um, and, uh... Oh, more or less, said something about it. He said to me that I'm, like, the, the clever kid in the class that no one listens to. If I have observations, I should share them with him and Noreen and Marcus and Rodrigo. But nobody else, because nobody else is listening. Big Brother understands that living in the house can often be a difficult and emotional time. Uh -huh. But often talking to your fellow housemates can be a way to help. Uh, definitely, yeah. Please, yeah, I'll go. I'll go chat with my. I'll go chat with my fellow housemates, and I'll see how I'm feeling. I think honestly, yeah, sorry. I think I was probably being a bit dramatic because I think that's actually just actually even just sitting in here and kind of having a space away from the house has given me a bit of space to reflect. Big brother is glad that you're feeling a little better and wanted to remind you that you are always welcome to come to the diary room should you need any time away from the house. All right, cool. Thank you. And Halfwit, yes. what would your mother say about you wiping your nose on your sleeve? <laughs> <laughs> I 
Oh god, I don't know. <laughs> you should have tissues in here. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> oh god. That was brilliant. Oh. Oh. Yeah. 11.15 a.m. Some of the housemates are in the living room. <laughs> it's brilliant. <laughs> Noreen, Halfwit and Marcus are in the garden. Oh, it's nice out here. <sighs> <sighs> So where do I go to get collared by Plebby Plebson today? I said leave it today. Oh, did you? And do it tomorrow. And just say sorry, because there's nothing you can do to explain. Just when you say stuff, you can't take it back. And you can't, there's, not, there's no explanation. The more you try it, the more you'll be digging yourself. Just say, I'm sorry, I was drunk. Sorry, 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 sorry. Then it's no big deal. It's his opinion, he's wrong, but it's his opinion. There's nothing that freaks me out more than being indiscreet in a bad way. Mm. You know, um, it's funny actually, like, yeah, this is, being in this house has really played that up as well. Like, I'm getting so much better at being discreet, but being in this situation is just... But then, you know, if it's you, you shouldn't have to be discreet. The yeah. second you start thinking about your own behaviour and, and, and analysing it like that means that you're not going to be yourself. Yeah. And as soon as you do that, everyone's going to just think something's not right with this, I'm uncomfortable. And, and being honest, I don't think in some situations it's good to look at, at other people and think, oh, well, I must be doing something right because I'm here and they're not. It is possible for one person to do more wrong things and get voted than that. I think it's ever a good idea to get overconfident. Oh, no, Because no, then that's like, oh, well, you know, I can still be an idiot and still a game plan, or I can choose to be like this, or mm -hmm. blah, 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 and it doesn't matter because I'm automatically going to win when I go up, or if I go up. Uh, yeah, no, I'm not in that mindset at all. <laughs> oh, God. I'm so tired. Mm, we slept well fucking late now, so. Mm. Apart from Freddy's little thing and you know, Rodrigo doing our fucking head in. It's night? not me, yeah. You do fucking wide up, though. I do. You <laughs> do with your little fucking. Wait, don't talk to us. I don't talk to them. He starts talking to us. I'm like, why? Well, just leave us alone then. Why won't you just leave us alone? Mm. Chris, I want to say sorry, man. Oh, I just done. got really drunk last night. I was being a fucking idiot. Oh. Um, so sorry. Sorry. So. <sighs> cool, cool. <coughs> oh, this last one. Right. Oh. Mm. Mm. Man, I feel so broken. I want to go home. 11.55 a.m. <laughs> Some of the housemates are in the bedroom. Being so sorry, hey. Jim. <laughs> oh. Breaking my mommy's rule. Is that your mum's rule as well? Uh-huh. No hanky-panky. No, nothing. Just dry humping. Oh, my ass cheeks are it. Oh, that humping. <laughs> Try humping. <laughs> See a Vash, Halfwit and Charlie are in the garden. Hey, Charlie. All right. Can I have a cuddle? Yeah, of course. Thanks, man. Oh, God, this is so... Oh, he's scuddling. If you get hard on him, just be I'm not going to get a hard on him. I'm not in space at all. I just want to cuddle. You'll be fine. I like spooning and breathing in rhythm. I feel like you'll be sick. OK. I'm not going to be sick. Oh, do you know? Oh, my stomach. I feel like I've drunk too much, you know? Yeah? I wasn't really drunk, though, you know. I was just dead. 
emotional. Yeah. Well, I got the get out of my system. I think I did as well. Because uh, I, I just let things... Because I've never had a down day in here, but yesterday I was just really, like, homesick kind of thing. And mm. Never mind that. Mm. If you ever want to cuddle in here. Yeah, thank you. Because yeah, you know yeah. if you ever need to talk, you know I'm here for you. Mm. Yeah, mate. Do you mind if I lay my head on your chest? You don't have to. People think that we're going out together. No. <laughs> we're just, yeah. we just... We will. Mm, people will. can think what they like. I just feel... I just want to feel, you know... connected.